morning. What's up, Chris? You gotta do the front windshield on the Audi. On the front windshield, they're putting Air 80, so we should do a little segment about Air 80 and tinting the front windshield and stuff too. That'd be cool. All right, so. I'm already late. All right, quick meeting of what's going on in the shop and what's leaving today, what's coming in. We have a new car coming in. It's a BMW 335, the Audi A6. The tinters just have to finish up the front windshield. As soon as they finish up that front windshield, we'll bring it out and prep that one. Film guys are gonna be finishing up the Porsche 911. Are we out here finishing this Porsche 911? Finishing this door. <laughs> and they just got some trimming to do. That one's gonna come out in the detail bay and we gotta do some paint correction um, and a coating on that. That's it. Oh, um, if we could, while we have all the cars out here, will somebody jump on cleaning the floor machine? I pick Colin. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. All right, have a good day. are getting ready to install Air 80 on the front windshield of this Audi. There's a lot of benefits to putting this film on the front windshield. One, the biggest benefit is the windshield is often the biggest window on the car and this film here has a high percentage of heat rejection. So it's kind of a unique film because it's pretty much clear. Like you will not notice this film on your windshield, windshield at all. Um, and it has a very high percentage of heat rejection. So it, it takes a lot of that heat away that's coming into uh, through the windshield. It provides UV protection. It has 99% UV protection. And it also helps with glare too, especially at night when you have a bunch of lights going on. It really helps reduce the glare. So if you haven't had your windshield tinted, I know it seems odd to tint the windshield to a lot of people, but it's amazing. Do I look at that camera? Or did you look at <laughs> or should I just look in the middle right you there? Should look at <laughs> okay. I had to stop on the Air 80 windshield because a customer came in yeah. for a two window and he's waiting, so we have to get on that one first. And then after that, I can jump back on the Audi. Are we out here finishing this Porsche 911? Yeah. Finishing this door? <laughs> Just fuck. Y'all making me nervous. I ain't used to this kind of spotlight, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna start installing the uh, windshield on that one. On this Audi, I am doing a reverse roll technique on the front windshield over Frankensteining it. Why? It's because reverse rolling is my preference and if I do a Frankenstein roll, I have to peel off all the film, and then I expose it all, and then I have to bring it in, and then while I'm bringing it in, it could touch a lot of the pillars around and bring in dirt. Turned on the 911. I seen all the smoke, and I could taste it. <laughs> Somebody call an ambulance! Wee 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 wee.
ahora los de PPF ya lo prepararon. Ya le pusieron todo el PPF todo enfrente. Y ahora yo lo que voy a hacer va a ser pulirlo todo al 100. A 100%. Ponerle Glass Brancy. Corin a los rines, los calipers, Vicio 6. En... Door Jam. Gracias. Alright, getting started on the BMW. Uh, after looking at this car, it's pretty neglected. You know, there's a lot of scuffs along the rocker panels, dents, small scratches, nicks. The wheels are kind of scuffed up too, but we're going to give this thing some loving and put some life back into it. Uh, prep took a little longer than expected because had a lot of brake dust caked up right along the, in the barrel. Probably from just not being washed in so long, the barrel's not washed properly. So, took a lot of iron X, a lot of uh, acid to try to take it off. At the end, we got most of it off, but it's just some that's still going to be on there. Also starting on the 2014 A6, paint is actually really nice for 2014. We're doing our full correction detail on it first, which includes our signature interior detail um, on the inside. We'll get that done. And then our exterior enhancement, which is one step of correction polish with a cutting pad. Then we do a second step, which is refining the paint with a finer polish and a foam polishing pad. And then we're actually going to put a ceramic coating for the protection on that. The wheels were pretty bad on this, so we're actually going to take the wheels off and clean it. We were spending a lot of time in the wash bay trying to get the little tar, uh, a lot of specks of tar in there, so uh, it's easier to take those wheels off, and we're going to be coating the wheels too anyways. So. I'm crossing the waters, breaking all the limits that I'm pushing it harder, striking every match, light it up. Just that enough for me. That door's heavy. And it's X in for a PPF check. They did this one uh, two or three weeks ago, wrapped the entire full car in paint protection film, so they're gonna check all over the edges, make sure everything is looking right and nothing lifted up, and we'll fix anything that uh, may have lifted up in the past couple weeks. So this morning we finished up the Porsche 911. Uh, we got that over to the detail bays so they can get started. And now we're gonna start on the Vantage front bumper and the rocker kit. Wheels here, I'm so happy. Wheels here. Woo! Oh, yeah. I like your hair too. You're gonna grow it out longer? I don't know. Everyone asked me that. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing with it. I just, it's just day by day. People care more about my hair than I do. <laughs> about that, uh, that BMW 335 that's in there? Um, you know, it's a used BMW 335, which I like because that had one of my favorite motors in the world, the twin turbo inline six. I remember when it came out and it was just had a lot of power, a lot of torque, and it seemed like a really great motor. Unfortunately, the person who owned it for all that time didn't seem to appreciate it as much as I did. Uh, it has a tan interior, which are always the hardest ones to keep 
clean um, and it looks just really grungy and dirty like no one ever loved that car. The new owner seems to really like it. I think he's got a, a great automobile. I think the 335 can do just about anything you ask it to do. Um, you know, it's a sports car, it's a sedan, it can be quiet and comfortable. I think you could take it to the track if you were so inclined. So I think that's a cool car that he can do just about anything he wants with, but he needs us to make it clean before he goes any further. Oscar's working on the rear spoiler of the 911 and it's got some really bad water etching on the top and he called me over because he's gone over it probably five or six times already and you're still seeing some very light remnants from those water spot etchings and it's kind of a fine line that we're playing with here. We can't measure the paint because the spoiler is actually plastic and we don't want to burn through the paint so it's a fine line to walk in on. We want to make it look perfect but we don't want to cause any damage, so I went it over it a couple more times uh, just to see if we can get a little more out. And we're gonna go as much as we're comfortable, and that's about it. So we hit it, you know, seven times there. And it's not 100%, it's about 95%, but we're gonna call it good. All right, BMW customer is on his way and we're still on the interior. We're still got to do the outside, so we need to get everybody on this car and get it done. What was the story with that IA guy? Was he just on yeah, he's, or something? No, he's in town for business, and uh, other than that, he's just driving cross country with it. So he's been to like, California, he's from New York, he was just down in St. Louis with it. So I think he's just driving all over with the car. Wow, just to put miles on it? Yeah, just to drive it and cruise it and have fun with it. All these curves. Oh yeah. Can't handle all these curves. Another happy, satisfied customer. Thanks for watching, guys. That's the end of the day, end of the episode. Appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate all your comments. We'll see you next time. On the next episode. Oh, yikes. That's a messy car. It really stands out now. Yeah. It really does. I, uh, I couldn't be happier. I, I really couldn't. I, I'm just, I'm really pleased. I really, really am.